Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video, I am going to explain how to add only even numbers in the given array. In the last video, I have explained how to, how to add all the elements in the array. Now here, is we are checking that number is an even number or not. If it is even number, then we are adding that number. See, so first we are taking one, we are taking one array, just int a and here it is size, any size we are taking for example 7 and we are taking 7 elements, 7 elements for example 3, 8, so 1, 7, 4, 6, 2, like this 7 elements we are taking, 7 and here to add we are declaring one variable called sum and initializes with a 0. If you are not initializing with 0, of course, it will it will initialize with a garbage value. So, we cannot assign values to garbage values because finally, you will get one more garbage value whenever we keep on adding the elements to garbage value. And to repeat that loop, we are declaring one variable i. Here, first sum gets memory is initializes with a 0. If you want to find out the sum of all the array elements, here i value starts with a 0, i is less than 7 up to size and i plus plus we are adding, here it is, we are repeating from 0 to 6, nothing but because size is a 7, index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 6 it will be repeated. If you want to add all the elements means what, directly we are writing like this simply sum is equal to sum plus a of i. When i value is a 0, when i value 0, here it is a of 0 will be added that is 3. Next i value 1, first location element is added 8. Next 1 will be added, 7 will be added, all the elements will be added and here it is finally, we are printing that sum. Here it is that variable sum we are printing, sum. But now, we are going to check the number is a even number or not. If it is even number, then only we are adding to the sum. So, whenever the control come inside, using one if block, if that number is nothing but a of i, a of i is divisible by 2 or not, we are checking. If it is divisible by 2, so then only we are adding to sum. Now, look at this. First, i value is a 0. A of 0 means what? 3. 3 mod 2 equal to 0. Condition false. Then if block will be terminated. It will come out. Come out of this if block. And next it will continue with the i value increment. i value become 1. In the first location, what is the element? 8. 8 is divisible by 2. Yes, condition true. So, it will come inside that 8 will be added to sum 0 plus 8. Here it is a sum value become 8, become 8. Next, i value become 2. In the second location, what is the element 1? So, condition false. 1 is not divisible by 2. Next, i value increase, right? Here it is i value become 3. Next, i value become 4. Yes, 4 is divisible. So, 4 will be added, value become 12. Next, i value become 5. Yes, 6 is divisible. So, that will be added. It will become 18. Next one, sixth location element is divisible. 2 is divisible by 2. So, here it is 18 plus 2, value become 20. Next, whenever i value 7, 7 is less than or less than 7, condition false. Then completely for loop will be terminated, it will come out and it will display that sum value. What is that sum value? 20. So, it will display that sum. Sum of even numbers we are printing. Suppose if you want to display sum of odd numbers means what? A of i mod 2 not equal to 0. Is equal to 0 or not equal to 0? So, that is what odd numbers sum you are printing. Sir, both I want to print means what? If block and else block. If it is even number, add to one variable. If it is odd number, add to another variable in the else block. So, like that you can try, write odd number sum and even and odd both number sum if you want to display. So, then this is the way, right. Hope you understood. 
for more videos please subscribe to narishaiti channel thank you